everybody knows that the easiest way to show someone how to do something is to show them rather than tell them. Now, even in this instance, a picture may not be as specific as you need it to be. So right now, let's just pretend that someone came up to me and asked, how do I register for an account on YouTube? Now, this is pretty simple, and it only requires one click. But let's just say I wanted to send them a screenshot of how to actually do it. So here I have a little picture of the YouTube homepage, and I want to direct them to this create account link up here. The only problem is, in order to put an arrow there or put a box around it, I would normally need to load up the image in an external image software, such as Photoshop or GIMP. New with Preview is the annotate feature, which allows you to add a few different elements to your picture with one click. To access this feature, we can simply click on the annotate button on top, go to Tools, Annotate, and look at the flyout menu, or we can right or control click on the menu bar and say customize toolbar and then drag in the annotate button. So once we've selected annotate, we have a little toolbar on the bottom where we get to select what we want to do. The first three are create an arrow, a circle, or a rectangle, and then the text box. We also have the option to change the color, the thickness of the lines, and the font. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a basic rectangle around the create account link. To make it even more specific, I could drag in an arrow just like that. We could adjust our line thickness with this menu as I, as I stated to create a more bolded arrow. Now just say I, I realize there's really too much red, I could take this arrow, click on the color menu, and change it to yellow. Save the image, and it's ready to be sent to whoever had that problem. Now you can see that it's fairly easy to input very basic and simple objects into your images quickly with preview. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.